Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm in Hyper-V on my Windows machine trying to get a Windows server working. And what I'm doing, what I'm up to, I'm trying to get a mid-server set up and I uh, ran into an issue. I've got Windows Server 2022 Trial Edition, good for 180 days. Figured I could throw a mid-server on that. Got through half the steps, which I'm going to show you eventually, but um, then I didn't have enough disk space. And so I've got this image that's like 9.5 gigabytes that I downloaded from Microsoft. It's a VHD file. You can see it kind of right here. And I was like, well, actually it says it's 13 gigabytes now. Um, it wasn't like 9.5 when I downloaded it. But um, I need more memory, more disk storage space on it. And that was a pain in the butt to figure out. So let me show you. Maybe save you some steps if you're ever doing this. Number one, this one had checkpoints enabled on it. So you cannot do anything with the disk if checkpoints are enabled on your hard, hard disk or virtual hard disk in Hyper-V. So that was lesson number one there. Lesson number two was it needs to be off. I know that sounds obvious. I was just hopeful like that, you know, technology had changed and you could <laughs> expand the hard disk. I, I'm pretty sure in VMware um, I've expanded a hard disk live, but maybe I'm just misremembering, but in Hyper-V you cannot. You need to have the server off. So that was lesson number two. And then all I needed to do was go to settings and click on my hard drive, which is right here. And once I had done all the above, um, this edit button was not grayed out. And I could actually click this edit button. So I'll click the edit button and I get this little thing and I go next and I get to choose an action. And from here on out, I don't know what's gonna happen because I waited to record this just so you could see it. So I'm gonna expand my hard disk. When I was running the mid-server setup, it said it needed to be um, 30 gigabytes free of hard drive space. And you can see my size right now is 40, so the OS has probably taken up, you know, I don't know, 20 of that. And so I didn't have nearly enough. So I'm gonna take this one to 60 gigabytes. I have plenty of room on this computer. Let's just go see uh, this PC. I've got uh, 473 gigabytes free, so I'm fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna go 60 on that, click next, and finish and that's probably gonna do some wow really it didn't even do anything it just it's just done now at 60 gigabytes um, click OK and let's just for fun let's go ahead and start my server uh, click start and then I'll connect to it and uh, let's go actually check and make sure that it is 60 gigabytes now this will be interesting wow that started up super fast okay um, I haven't used Hyper-V in a long time, and this is Hyper-V on my Windows 10 PC, so this is interesting. All right, let's sign in, and I am not going to say my password out loud like I'm prone to do. Leave me a comment down below. Do you say your passwords out loud while you're typing them? Um, probably not a good thing for security, but I'm alone in my office. I mean, my dog's here. I guess you could, you know, take advantage of that. But let's see how big my disk is now and if I'm ready to build my mid-server, which I will record in a separate video for you. Um, there's server manager, but let's open up File Explorer and let's go to this PC and see. Hey, it's still 40 gigabytes. Okay, so even though I made it bigger, it's not any bigger. That's interesting. Oh, you know what, though? Um, do I need to, like, go to my disk utility? I wonder... Is there one on server, disk, uh, computer management, no, recovery drive, no. I remember there being something around your disk that you had to do. Or is it devices where you kind of like rescan them? Uh, disk management, there it is. Disk management, connecting. Oh, there it is. Look at that, guys. It sees the extra 20. It's just not part of it. It's unallocated at the moment. So I need to fix that. Wow, that's a surprise. I didn't know I was going to be teaching all this about Windows. So let's see if we can extend the volume. Next. And we will... Maximum available space, 24 to 78. Select the amount of space in megabytes. Yeah, I want the whole thing. Next. Finish. All right. There we go. Now I've got 60 gigabytes of hard drive space. Let's check File Explorer again. And let's just go somewhere else and then come back. Yay, it worked. All right, sweet. I've got 48 gigabytes free of 59. 48 is going to meet 
the minimum. I needed 30 gigabytes free for my mid server, which you can see I'm working on in my downloads folder there. There's mid Windows Installer Utah that I've been trying to work on. So you'll see that in another video. Um, in the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful, especially if you're using Hyper-V on a Windows 10 machine like I am, and you need to make the disk space bigger from a default VHD that Microsoft provided for a trial version of Windows Server 2022. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.